On April 20th, the Deepwater Horizon oil rig began leaking millions of gallons of crude oil into the Gulf of Mexico. Shortly thereafter, BP began cleanups along hundreds of miles of coast to capture the oily substances coming ashore, including fluids and debris. Some of that waste is processed for beneficial reuse. But where does the rest go? Let's review this process by following a tar ball that washed onto the beach. Much of the oil coming ashore is in the form of tar balls. They're created as oil breaks down and becomes weaker in the water. The end result is a small sticky glob that is sometimes called weathered oil. As a precaution when handling the waste, cleanup crews follow OSHA standards, which require minimal protection like gloves and boots. These guidelines are similar to those in a work setting or even while handling household chemicals like chlorine. Cleanup workers find these tar balls along with other pieces of oily debris, vegetation and sand and place them inside plastic bags. Other oily solid waste like booms are also collected. Once the waste leaves the shore, workers contracted by BP put it into containers which are tracked by an on-site coordinator. Containers are covered on the inside with a plastic liner to ensure no materials leak in transit. The coordinator contacts waste management to pick up the waste. The driver lifts the container onto a truck and covers it prior to transport. To dispose of this waste, the company follows strict guidelines established by state and federal regulations. The chemical makeup of the tar and oil is sampled and tested by the State Department of Environmental Quality and the United States Environmental Protection Agency to ensure it is non-hazardous and that they are disposed of properly. Waste management collects the tar balls and other oily solids and takes them to a staging area where the waste is inspected to confirm that only non-hazardous materials go to the landfill. The materials are then safely transported to the landfill, the final stage in a tar ball's journey. Think of a landfill like a bathtub. Both are engineered to prevent materials from getting out. When a tar ball enters the landfill, the risk of it spreading is eliminated. Here's how it works. A modern landfill is engineered with two special liners to contain waste. The first layer is a highly and exactly compacted clay. The second is a high-density polyethylene plastic, three times the thickness of a U.S. quarter. Once these layers are installed, a piping system collects liquids for storage and treatment. On the surface, gas collection wells vacuum the naturally occurring methane gas. When the tar ball goes to the landfill for disposal, it is covered with six inches of soil to reduce odors and protect rainwater that might come into contact with it. In the distant future, when the landfill is full and ready for closure, it will be covered again with more soil, protective clay, a thick geomembrane liner, more soil, and eventually natural vegetation. Waste management employees work hard to ensure that the operations of the landfill do not affect the surrounding environment. Air, groundwater, and stormwater are routinely monitored. Since we want to minimize disposal of oily solid wastes, waste management is stockpiling samples of oily sand in the lined areas of some landfills to explore different ways of extracting the oil and exploring other beneficial reuse ideas so that in the future, beaches affected by oil can have a second life. We're proud of the role we play and take this challenge seriously. Nearly 4,200 of our employees live, work, and raise families along the Gulf Coast. We value our coastlines. For more information, visit WM.com.